Third running of Targa Great Barrier Reef commenced today with a strong field of almost 90 cars taking the official start at the Reef Hotel Casino. With COVID-19 restrictions seeing the cancellation of many events around Australia, the running of Targa gave both Tropical North Queensland and the competitors a much needed boost with three days and 18 stages of rallying ahead of them. On the official start, the course took competitors through the sugarcane line fields of the Green Hill stage before heading up the iconic Gillies Range and finishing with the technical twists and turns up to Lake Morris. Making the most of the roads were classic leaders Glusky and Winter, the pair from Melbourne incredibly going through two weeks of quarantine in Brisbane to be able to compete at Targa Great Barrier Reef. Despite a smaller field than normal, many of the competitions featured extremely close battles. Ganocchio and Horsfall in their Commodore lead Classic GT, with the Siddons Datsun a mere 11 seconds behind. In TSD, the Marshalls Falcon Newt leads, but Celita and Bashi are just behind in their BMW. Williams and Witteveen lead Early Modern 2 and Horn and Corning have taken charge in Early Modern 4. The Halls are out in front in Thoroughbred Trophy, while the new GT production category is headed by Van der Broek and Rankin in their Subaru. One of the drives of the day came from Udi and Williams, the Lotus fastest in the speed restricted GT Sports category and sitting an impressive fourth outright. Ahead, the battle for the podium places is tight. Anir and Sarandis in their new AMG GTR hold third place, sitting just behind the Seymour's Lotus. After moving up from GT Sports, the pair surprised many to win a stage and finish the day in second outright. However, they couldn't quite keep Wynn and Foster at bay. The GTR ending the first day 37 seconds in front. Tomorrow, Targa heads south of Cairns towards Mission Beach to tackle six new stages which promise to provide a set of new challenges for all the competitors. <laughs>